Oh, shit. Okay, we're back. Uh, I brought a slightly different team. I've also done some reading uh, and experimented a bit. I now know what hyper mode is. That will help me, hopefully. But I also figured out that Myung here, she has exactly one attacking move. And that attacking move is based off of how much damage she has taken onto that point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play it extremely fucking careful. I'm gonna spend most of my time charging. Hit her like once between each. I'm gonna get Doc and uh, Doc and Emeralda up to level three, in the hope that here comes her attack. So that should do very little right now. Which yeah, yeah, that's not a lot. But Doc, take a swing. Defense up, Ether attack up also. And now we charge. Basically, I'm gonna. This is what I'm gonna do. For essentially the rest of the fight. Until I feel confident I can dish out big damage. At which point I'll go id mode. With Faye. Let's see. See if I can get into hyper mode with the others. Also have um, the uh, uh, thirty percent frame heal repair whatever, which I can use more often. For less healing, which I think is better for this fight. Also gave uh, everyone uh, an Ether AR plus three. Basically, just taking every precaution against the main offense this here Opio Morph has. So yeah, I'm probably not going to be talking much. If there's anything to say, I'll make sure to pause at that point. Otherwise, I'll see you once we're in a position to win this fight. So here's Doc in hyper mode. In hyper mode, which should last for... Huh. I think I gave the Billis Holy Pendant to one... Uh, to either Doc or to... Um, Emeralda, and that should make hyper mode last for three turns. Uh, during hyper mode, charging is ten times as effective. You know, another option is to just keep doing piddly damage until till she dies. That's also an option. Ke just keep charging fuel, heal when needed, and just win. Okay, um, so I've been wa uh, doing my strat, it's been paying off, we're at a pretty high level right now. What I'm going to do now is I'm gonna charge until the next time it attacks, then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go all out and just attack, see how that goes. I've saved this state, if it turns out that's a mistake, I can just go back. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. It's 
I'm just waiting to see. That. Which at this point should do... Possibly no damage. No, there we go. A little bit of damage. And this is a point where we hit the booster. Fey hits the id system. Emeralda hits the booster. Satan goes in for the big move. We're gonna do some 5,000 damage. Emeralda... She goes in for this and she does... 4,000, okay. That's 9,000. Um... Satan... Oh, we gotta build a meter again. Faye does his god a mix. For a little over 5,000, that's um, say around 14,000. Miss. Okay, let's see how much it does. We, we did like 14,000. And it does like 10% of that. Hmm. Gonna try something. I'm gonna boost Faye, see what happens. I wanna I want Faye to get first swing. Six thousand. We should be at that. Should be like twenty thousand damage, and that's it. My, aren't we powerful? Ha! There we go. Just a little patience. That's all that's needed. And I'm nothing if not patient. Oh, though I don't imagine that's the final boss. Well then, let's start over from the beginning again. You think you can beat me this time? What the? I thought I defeated you. Unless you can decompose her atomic structure, you don't stand much of a chance. Normal attacks are futile against one who has the ability to regenerate using nanomachines, son. I can't believe how hard they go in with the nanomachines. I wonder if one Mr. Hideo Kojima played this video game back in the day. Now, the time has come for the Great Awakening. It is our Omnigears. Damn, what's going on? And I said, hey, yeah, yeah. it's that, hey, yeah, yeah. Our Omni... No, that's not it. Is that... Our Anima Relics? That's not it. That's gotta be a... Choto... Choto... Uh, something like that. Is it trying to detach the Anima Relics from our Omni Gears? Deus is... Swallowing up our Anima Relics?
It seems the anime relics have fallen into the hands of the enemy. This is the true meaning of the anime relics. To attain their respective animus and return to the persona. The anime relics are really one set of parts that make up Deus, the physical manifestation of God. They regain their original power or functions by aligning themselves with their destined partner. An Omnigear that has lost its respective anima relic is but a puppet. It becomes a mere vessel or container in which there are no contents. And this girl, too, was destined to become one with God. You see... That's, that's a mis misspelling. They misspelled Elheim. It's really one of the parts of God as well. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm laughing. It's just like... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put simply, you served to bring all the parts of God together here for me. Of course we did. You're a bunch of stupid fools. It's as if you are all clowns. You believe the legend of how our world and the universe was created, but the Ministry and I fabricated that very myth a long time ago to suit our purposes. That's a lie! How can that be true? I think you'll find that our fri your friend's Omnigears are all dead too. We're talking about your friends who split up and took a different path than you on th into this place. They were all parts of God that were disassembled in the past, but once again are all gathered here. Yes. It is indeed the time for the resurrection of God. What was it all for? Everything that I have done up till, until now. <laughs> Ramses? Ramses? Hmm. <laughs> it's just you. What are you doing here, Carr? What about me? My existence? What was his purpose? I wasn't ready to do that voice right now. <laughs> there was only one purpose to your existence. To eliminate Emperor Cain. Cain's will had become too much like that of humans. He was too concerned about them. He had forgotten his mission to revive God. That is why you were created. You were only made to remove our main hindrance, Cain. But, as the original living being... The original living being... Huh. Cain had absolute power. To make you turn on Cain, it was necessary to focus your mind on a single point. However, being an artificial life form, you were mentally unstable. That is why we used face existence. Resentment. That is the source of your strength. You have excelled superbly at fulfilling our expectations of you. But we no longer have any more use for you. Haven't you realized that yet? You're a piece of trash. And being the reject that you are, why don't you just leave? <laughs> aye. Aye. What was I born for? What was I living for? A pathetic excuse for a life. Why you aren't even human? <laughs> now, what to do with a lot of you? Well, I can't just kill you all, seeing as you have served me so well. So, as a reward, I'll allow you to be sacrificed too. To be assimilated into Deus along with this girl. <laughs> Ramses? Did, did he fucking stab her? I thought she was nano machines. Good. This is how I wanted it, Car. I'm faded so as not to be able to kill myself. Now all my wishes have come true. Thanks to you. Mian. Fuck that voice. I should probably stop doing it. <sighs> really? I thought, I thought nano machines. They harden in response to physical trauma. 
Faye, sorry we're late. Our Omni gears broke down. Anyway, let's hurry and save Ellie. Yes, I know. Hang in there, Ellie. I'm letting you down now. Oh god, what now? What? It all keeps tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. Oh boy, here we go. I'm sure we'll get an adequate explanation for what the fuck is going on. Hey, now you hang in there. She, she took my gun. She took Billy's gun. What? Well, why did you do that, Ellie? Ellie, what happened to you? How could you? Don't tell me she's been brainwashed. It has nothing to do with brainwashing. Oh, he's just standing up. The majority of my body is comprised of a nanomachine colony, not only for longevity, but also to unify with the mother. So don't be surprised. This much damage can be recovered rather quickly. Unify with the mother? That girl, Elheim, is our mother. Yes, I am the mother of all humans. Ellie? What are you babbling about? Snap out of it, Ellie. You're as dense as usual, but I don't blame you. So be it. I will explain to you all about it. Oh, she's gonna hold, she's gonna bring out her PowerPoint presentation. This Deus, the one you call God, is an interplanetary invasion weapon system. What the f- Okay. I think, wait, we when we heard about the Zoar, and the... and the whatevers. Okay, okay. It was built in ancient time by humans from another planet. It was created as an automatic weapon which could act upon its own will to take control of a targeted planet. But you should have known this much from looking at the Razel records. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, during a test run, Deus become uncontrol became uncontrollable. It released its power and annihilated a whole planet. The creators of Deus found its immeasurable power to be too much of a threat, and hence forcibly shut it down. In order to analyze the cause of the problems, uh, its core was dismantled and put on an interplanetary emigrant passenger ship to be transported to another planet. Becoming aware of this, the disassembled Deus resisted. It tried to take over the passenger ship that was transporting it, uh, and now she is describing the intro cutscene. However, as a last line of defense against the escape of Deus, its creators unexpectedly destroyed the whole ship, sending it crashing to this planet. Deus knew it would not be able to get away from the explosion or the imminent impact, and so it detached its core from the Zohar power reactor. Zohar? Yes, Zohar. It is what drives all of the gears on this planet. It is the massive generator that transmits its energy to the slave generators in our gears. Hmm. It is also the source of all the ether power that the inhabitants of this planet utilize. So without the Zohar, there's no magic. By utilizing the energy displacements caused by actualizing potential future phenomenon, this Zohar modifier has the ability to produce infinite amounts of energy. The source of all our ether power? Are you saying that all our energy comes from that one power reactor or engine? Yes, but there is more. The core that was detached from Zohar, the biological computer Kadomoni, 
crashed onto this primitive planet. It activated Persona. <laughs> it's life support plan. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I read that word and my mind just goes fucking. Uh, it's life support plant that can generate organic material. Using this, it prepared for it itself a genetic based system from the day when Deus would be resurrected. Thus, the first humans were created from there. Emperor Cain and the elders of the Geisel Ministry. Are you saying that the Emperor and them Geisel geezers were people born from Deus? Do you know why the Geisel Ministry desire the anima relics and your bodies? Well, here's the reason. Before becoming human, the bodies of the Ministry were once part of the organic elements in the core circuit that made up Deus. There were two types of organic elements, the female type called anima, while the male type was called animus. I get it. They were also created by, with the added ability to become mobile weapons by merging with machinery that was suited for use as terminal interface weapons for Deus. In other words, those Omnigears you were using were one form of such weapons. The Ministry, which were Animus, uh, were to become one again with their separated Anima at the time of the resurrection of God. But in a war 500 years ago, they all lost their physical bodies. It was then that they decided to extract their own genetic factor from certain individuals of their human descendants who carried the appropriate sets of DNA. Also, each of them could become one with the respective anime again. I see. Descendants? Then we're all. Yes, you humans are all descendants of Cain and the Geisel Ministry. They were born from the Persona, gave birth and propagated. They follow their inbuilt program to someday resurrect the heavily damaged Deus. All the people in the world were created solely to resurrect Deus? Yes. But it wasn't just to restore its old body. More than half of Deus is constructed of biological parts. Do you remember those hum mutated humans? Those are all people who were destined to become replacement parts for Deus. We humans are parts for God. Yes, almost all the people are destined to become parts for Deus. But you people gathered here all, are all different. You could say you escaped that destiny by existing through multiple generations. In actuality, there wasn't enough parts for Deus, but Krellian compensated for what it was lacking. The reduction in the number of parts was due to humans living through multiple generations, but that deficiency in the human factor was made up for by the nanomachines created by Krellian. Not only that, but his nanomachines added additional functions. Deus has thus evolved into the perfect weapon. Ellie, what has happened? Why do you know all that? I am Miang, the keeper of time, the representative of our god Deus. I was born to guide the people toward the path of the resurrection of Deus. That's ridiculous. Miang was just. You're limited in your ability to understand. Miang's factor exists within all women. Within all women. Huh. The one who transcends the generations, the caretaker of humans. So yes, Miang is the woman from the beginning who rose from the wreckage of the ship, but so is like every woman. <laughs> when the previous one dies, somewhere another Miang is awakened. It is programmed into all women's DNA to be that way. Who inherits the duty is just a matter of probability, Faye. Then how the fuck did it end up being Ellie? That Miang over there and I are the same existence. We are all parts of Deus, all caretakers of humans. How many women exist on this planet? What were the odds that the Ellie here became Miang? Let us end this discussion now. Deus has awakened. I am one of the parts that compose Deus, hence I must become one with it. Ellie, why did it have to be you? If Miang is part of you, uh, is a part for Deus, why did it not happen earlier? It's still not enough for her just to have awakened. Although she may be Miang, she still isn't the true Miang. The true Miang. Let's go, Krellian. 
All that is left to do is to vanquish this planet civilization and return it to how it was. Then I can complete my unification with the final fragment of Deus, the Zor modifier. The power reactor that fell upon this planet and became our genesis, and now our apocalypse. The eradication of civilization? What is the purpose of doing that? Who knows? The creations of God will someday be a hindrance. That is why they must be eliminated. I am just programmed to act in this way. Come. It is time for the awakening of the true mother. Please, wait, Ellie. Farewell, Faye. May you have a peaceful awakening. So everything seems to have gone exactly according to the plan of the baddies. I have no idea how we're going to solve this problem. I can almost smell some type of bullshit coming up. <laughs> you know what I mean. Some last minute revelation. Though perhaps the clues have been there all along and I have yet to put them together. Ellie! Oh god. Wait, Faye! Do not release the system. Sitan, wait. We are only endangering ourselves. Let's get out of here for now. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's like some type of drill. By the way, I noticed uh, when I looked at re when I rewatched the opening cutscene, uh, th the like turrets and stuff. Oh God. On the ship looked a lot like uh, what would you call it? The the Fort Jasper or whatever the the spaceship we shot at the Tower of Babel with. So I'm gonna save. Maybe we're going towards the final boss now. I'm not sure. What Citon? Just sit on, okay. Continue the game. Oh God, God, the interplan. Did you? Oh, I'm I'm scared. I'm scared of everything breaking. God, the interplanetary invasion weapon Deus has awakened its arc. Arcava was activated. Oh, I know why that happened. It was because my controller came unplugged. And now it is plugged again. Deus began to absorb, one after the other, the mutated people, destined to be its parts. While the non-mutated would eventually only become a threat to it, to exterminate us and our civilization, it set into action. The planet's surface was devastated by Merkava and the weapons born from out of it called the Seraph Angels. Of course they are. You know, I wish I could play that part. Or like, interact with it in some manner. While pursuing the newly awakened Deus, we chanced upon Fay, whose whereabouts had hitherto been lost, along with his gear Veltal, discovered together at the place where Merkava was originally located. How much time has passed? We were overjoyed by Fay's return, but it was shortly lived. For some unknown reason, Fay was found in a state of suspended animation. He did not regain consciousness. The people of Shavat, 
and we ourselves feared a relapse of Faye's, no, Id's power, and had no choice but to put Faye into Carbonite Freeze. Man, so I, uh, I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I went looking, risking spoilers, but I don't think I was spoiled. And apparently this game definitely did, like, run out of time. Your Majesty, why do the people of Shavat fear Faye so much, even if Graf and its power are comparable? It is not that we fear him. We fear the error we ourselves committed, and now we are simply trying to put a lid on it. The error that you yourselves committed. Uh, before we continue, so yeah, uh, I looked it up, and from the horse's mouth, from Tetsuya Takahashi, it was like, he talked like, um, the team was not the most experienced, it was new technology they were working with, well, 3D graphics was new, um, and this was the time when, like, video games took two years to make. You don't get any more. You don't get more time. The You don't get seven years to finish your video game. Uh, and at, apparently at some point came the idea of, like, releasing basically disc one as one game and then hoping for a sequel but instead of doing that they they chose to do this sort of slideshow deal for the second disc uh, rather than release a completely unfinished game uh, one without a like a real ending I guess which well we'll see if it pays off I can respect that they were put in a shitty situation, although that will not necessarily save that that knowing why doesn't really improve the game. It's a shame it's like this, but what do we do? I will continue. I will finish this video game. Shivat instigated a battle five hundred years ago to gain our independence from Solaris. However, we became overcome with a lust for power. Really? Fearing the war-torn people's will would no longer be with Shivat, but with, the, but with the Nisan mother, and that the people would assemble under Sophia. The Council of Elders of Shivat back then made a deal with Solaris. A deal. So, Eli is the anti-type, yeah? Th who is the correspondent to... The contact, which is Fei, and now this current Eli is also Miang. But those two things are not the same, the Miang and the Antitaf, because Miang has been a separate entity. I don't know if there's uh, anything special about this new Miang because she's also the Antitaf. I guess we'll see. A deal? Yes. At the time, Solaris, or the Geisel Ministry to be exact, were at odds with a woman who held the real power behind the scenes. Would that happen to have been Miang? Most probably it was. Fearing the increasing power of the masses assembling in Nissan, the Geisel Ministry schemed to hand over, their, uh, hand over to us their antagonist Miang and promised a division of the rulership over the Earth's surface. But in exchange, we had to give them the rebel army that had assembled in Nissan and also their patron Sophia. The leaders of Shavad accepted, hmm. and it was decided that Nissan would be the location for the final decisive battle with Solaris. Huh. Tanks and stuff. Shavad did not uh, participate in that battle. Thwarted by the awesome numbers of the Solarian army, and with their path of retreat cut off, the Nissan rebel army ran out of options and was destroyed. Caught up in the middle of all this was Lacan, Bart's ancestor Roni, myself and Krellian. You were also there? Yes. Surrounded on all sides, 
We were prepared to die. And then, the Rebel Force's flagship appeared with Sophia on board. She sacrificed herself so as to create a path for our retreat. Sophia's ship headed straight for the enemy's main ship on a suicide attack. The main ship? <laughs> Look at that film grain. By all means, I guess you can portray it that way. It's kind of weird with no sound effects. Oh well. Thanks to Sophia's sacrifice, we were able to survive. However, her death forever changed the fate of two men. Two men. Krellion, who followed closely under her as the leader of the Nissan sect's militia, completely lost faith after calling out to a god that would not respond. I will create God with my own hands, were the last words he uttered before he, he disappeared. And Lacan, he resented himself for not having the power to do anything while she died in front of him, so he began to search for the legendary power. So he became Virgil. Legendary power? God's resting place, Mahanon, the source of divine wisdom, Razael, and the anima relics, which were created by that very wisdom. Besides these, there's one more legend, and that is Zohar. Zohar? That has the same name as the Zohar modifier, the power reactor that Miang spoke of, saying it was the infinite energy source of God Deus. Uh, what she claimed is also the source of our ether powers and the driving force of all our gears. It would have to be one and the same thing. It is the place that contains the ultimate source of this world's power. It is said that only he who has the correct destiny would be able to discover its location. Losing all faith in humanity, Lacan sought after its power. Lacan became Groff, and the world collapsed. This tragedy happened because of the people's lust for power. I must take part of the responsibility for not having been able to stop it. And now, Fay. The one who has the same power as Graf. We just wanted to seal up that dreadful power that arose from our own sinful deeds. Graf, the man once known as Lacan, sought after the power of Zohar, the one who has the same power as Graf, Fay. I had this premonition that Fay too would awaken and seek out that power, and that presentiment became reality. Oh, is this the dungeon? Shavat's dungeon? I think so. Heartbeat. Is someone freeing him or is he just breaking free somehow by himself? Where am I? Who am I? This is my memory? Are we diving into our subconscious? Doc. Bart. Rico, Billy, Weissman, 
Graph. Everyone. My memories. Ellie? Mother? Was his mother also Mion? Possibly, I'm not sure. Oh, oh shit. So is that kid also a representation of Id? Maybe. Who are you? I'm surprised. That's pretty clever. Clever. You are Id? I misjudged you. I didn't expect you, the fake personality, would create a fourth persona. Fourth persona? He can't feel anything. He's shut up inside your ego. The pressing facts and truths you won't face. You're afraid of them, so you decide to completely shut yourself off from the outside world. And so, you formed a fourth persona, a fourth Fey. The name doesn't matter. He's the one on the stage. He's the one who's in control of your body. But it is as useless. F it is a useless form of resistance. Come with me. Wait, what are you doing? He has a key. I merely want to borrow it. I've got to go somewhere. Are you coming too? Hmm. Roni? Come on guys, eat up! You haven't been able to get this kind of food around here lately, have you? Well, this is also due to my business savvy. Ren? Rene? What's wrong, Lacan? You look kinda down. What's bothering you? Are you worried about something? It's nothing. I'm just thinking about painting Sophia. I don't know why I agreed to do her portrait. Sophia? You mean your childhood friend who is now the holy mother of Nissan? She's not really a childhood friend. I just made her acquaintance at the monastery near my home when I was a child. She went to the clinic there for convalescence. She was frail. So, what are you worried about painting her for? She does not wish herself to become a symbol of her sect. Actually, it seems she wasn't interested in having her portrait painted in at first. But when she heard I would be the painter, she turned around and agreed. That's what I don't understand. I see. Then she must like you. What are you talking about? That's how women are, right, Krillian? Hey, Krill. Hmm? What's up? You're not having any? It's ready to eat. Ah, yeah. The Holy Mother of Nissan, huh? What? Are you out to offend Divine Providence or something, Lacan? Cut it out. It's not like that. Why? You gotta lighten up a little. What is this area? It looks like a mold area, but I don't think it's one we've visited. Visited, visited. Sophia first showed me that books are the best way to calm the heart, and now I'm hooked on reading. I'm not trying to brag, but I've learned a lot of things I never knew before. Lately, I've been reading this. What is it? Something I borrowed from Melchior. It's about a form of molecular engineering, nanotechnology. I believe it's a book found in the ancient ruin of the Zeboim civilization. It's a copy of someone's research report, but it's incomplete. I think there were even more wonderful things written in it, but we'll never know now. What's wrong? You don't look so good. Lately, you've seemed melancholy almost every day. 
But something happened? I don't know. Just can't paint right now. Sorry, but do you mind if we stop here for today? I see. It's not good to push yourself too hard. Why don't you rest up for a little while? I'll have uh, Krellion take you. Kinda wish we got to, like, play us Lacan maybe for a while. Get a bit into his shoes. I don't know. Even so, there was a time when I did some pretty vicious things. I lashed out at random. Everyone around me feared me, even my friends. I lived a life surrounded by people who looked at me with fear in their eyes. But she was the only one who wasn't afraid of me. She would just smile. Peace of mind. She was the one who taught me... That was... Uh, what that was. And how I could receive it. She taught me how to live as a human. What are you doing, Lacan? Oh, it's you, Krellian. I was thinking... I'd stop painting the portrait. Why stop now? It's the circumstances. I shouldn't be painting her at a time like this. Eventually, she too must stand at the front lines, so... Is that really the problem? Lacan? Her smile is killing me. The more she smiles at me, the more I, I feel my very being become insignificant. Inside my heart there is this empty existence. Other than painting, I have no worth. Yet she continues to accept my presence. I feel like I'm getting smaller and smaller. Hmm. I didn't have this feeling in the beginning. That's very interesting to me. I think I can kind of relate to that sort of feeling where you almost don't want to be accepted, kinda. Let's keep going. I just wanted to paint her one more minute, one more second longer. I wanted to keep on painting forever, but suddenly I couldn't. As the picture neared completion, the empty part of me started to manifest itself in my brush strokes. I was meant to be painting her as she really is, but this picture is my own self. My empty self has begun to appear within there, that's why I've gotta stop now. Your own self? You're just running away. You can't bear it when she smiles at you. By painting her portrait you notice the gap between your own inner emptiness and her inner abundance. And you cannot fill that gap. That's why you're, qu you're quitting your painting. You're refusing her. Even so, you still can't bring yourself to leave her, can you? In spite of that, why is it that she continues to smile at you? You who can't accept her feelings. You who won't accept her feelings. Tell me why, if it was me who was receiving such feelings. Hmm. You're neglecting yourself too much. Why aren't you kinder to yourself, mistress? Oh, that's the Omnigir that Ellie eventually ends up using. Well, our Ellie. Is this really her true expression? Yeah. To people who don't know her that well, I guess. Her smile. I don't know. The smile in this picture is somehow different from the one she usually shows us. I realize Lacan's feelings are in there, but... I don't think she has ever opened herself up and shown her inner self to others like this before. You've been painting such a beautiful expression of Sophia. I just can't see the reason why you want to stop. Beautiful? Forget it. This picture is anything but beautiful. Lacan, 
You say you're empty. Then why do you come along with us? What we've been doing up till now are not just acts of mercy. It's a fight for freedom. Time and again, you've been through life-threatening situation with us. A man who has nothing in his heart couldn't do that kind of thing, right? Roni, you're giving me too much credit. As long as uh, you do something to keep yourself occupied, you can ignore the hollowness inside. From the beginning, my very existence itself was emptiness. It wouldn't matter if I were to die right now. You live, you die, that's all. Pessimistic as usual, Lacan. And now you're lying. It is just that you're not good at expressing your own feelings. You're not empty. She knows that. That's why she knows she shows you own That's why she shows only you her true smile. I don't deserve to see her true smile. She's the hope of the people, their support. There's so much more for her to do. Why would she open her heart to a mere artist like me? Bro! Bro! Hey, bro! What are you doing here? What's up? The Council of Elders of Shavat issued a decision. Tomorrow we will leave for Soylent. For Soylent? Soylent? That's in Solaris. Yes. And Sophia will be coming with us. That's ridiculous. The refugees are still increasing. We can't afford to have Sophia leave Nissan. And going to Soylent? That's plain foolish. It's too dangerous. What are the elders thinking? No, it wasn't the council's wish. It was Sophia's will. It appears that she expressed this desire herself. That can't be. What is she thinking? Originally, we talked about it just being just us. Just us? Hmm. You know what this feels slightly similar to? This feels slightly similar to... Um, to the Torna DLC for Xenoblade 2. Where we like explore events that are very far removed from the main plot. But still affects it. Or at least the characters in it. Sophia. Sophia. Lacan, what are you doing? You keep back. I knew we couldn't leave Sophia in your care. I'll protect her, even if it costs me my life. Or perhaps this is more like the flashback cutscenes at the very end of Scene Blade 2. This is on the on the Yggdrasil. Why don't you get some rest, Krell? You haven't slept since the day before yesterday, have you? You shouldn't do that to yourself. I'm fine. It's not a problem. Look, I'll watch over her so you go to sleep. What will we do if you also fall ill? Do not forget that you are the head of the sect's military forces. Okay, I suppose you're right. Is he awake even, Faye? Lacan? Ellie, I am so sorry. I... It was my misjudgment that did this to you. I was terrified. It was like you could see right through me. Your eyes, that look. I was me that was being reflected back in your eyes. I was looking at myself, and thus painting myself. I couldn't stand it, so that's why. Oh, Ellie, what in the heavens did you find inside of me? When you wake up, I think I will ask you that. On second thought, no. No, I don't want to burden you with my concerns. Besides, I wouldn't be able to ask you. One look into your eyes and I can't see a thing. I wouldn't even be able to tell you how I feel. You're the sweetest person. Ellie? 
You are someone who cannot bear to see others hurt by your own actions. So you hold everything in and bear all the burden. If you get hurt in the end, you think that is fine. That's what I like about you. Stop, don't say that. If you become just another human, everyone will... Humans aren't all that frail, you know. They don't need a symbol who is just appearances only. I believe that if you have light in your heart, you can overcome any hardship. What I have been doing is simply showing people that such light exists in the hearts of everyone. I'm just a woman, and to fulfill my womanhood, I am prepared to throw away anything, even this position. I'm just playing the role of Sophia, but I'm, I am still me. I haven't changed. A cowardly, selfish crybaby. I am still the same. Could you live a lie like that and still be happy? I don't want to do that. Oh, Lacan, I want to live more honestly with myself. To be able to tell the man that I love that, that I do love him. And I don't care if I get hurt or rejected. You only have one life. I don't want to turn around later and regret not having done such things. I... I... Oh, was he outside listening? Do you think I'll let it end here? We are not their possessions. Is this the uh, ship that they ram into the into the enemy mothership? Sophia, what are you doing? I am ending this. You won't need to fight anymore. So Krellion, please open your fist. With your open heart hand, gently hold the people who will continue to live. Don't be foolish! We'll help you escape, so please stop! Thank you, Lacan. But sorry, there's no other way. Ellie! I used the wrong voice for Lacan just then. How odd that they show this scene twice in so short a time span. People support each other to live is what brings us happiness. So share that happiness and please, Lacan, live. times have I done that stupid yell? Oh boy. So at this point she's dead. When he's painting. Maybe. So. Oh. It's just a uh, generic. I see. We were sacrificed as pawns, in order to protect their own authority. Sophia was... Is this the ideal world we've been searching for? What have we been doing? Heading towards Sophia's ideals? Is this our salvation? This isn't fair. Sophia was sacrificed for those bastards. Sophia said, If you just have faith, the path to what you hope for will open. But look at reality. God didn't answer our prayers. Is that because we didn't have faith? Even if we didn't have faith, Sophia did. Why 
did she have to be sacrificed? Is God dead? Is he just not there? Maybe God never even existed to begin with. Faith in God. Do not look for it on the outside, for it is something one must build from within oneself. I'm thinking back to Billy and Jesse and their storyline. <laughs> I see. That's it. If God doesn't exist in our world, then... I will create God with my own hands. Krellian. Sophia, please guide me. I will destroy all such false pretenses of love for you. Hmm. That's what, that's what trauma does to a motherfucker. We need to gather all surviving comrades. We'll never beat them if we fight them individually. So let us create a country that can someday stand up against them. What are you going to do, Lacan? I... You know, the music in this game is good, but there are few, too few tracks that are put on repeat too often, I feel. Okay, so we're up and about in, in current present day time, I think. No, this is Lacan. Ellie? What? Because this is the deepest dungeon at Shivat. Oh, that Ellie became young at that point in time. If only you had power, you could have saved her. This song is cool. You want it, don't you? Unrivaled power. And this is him becoming Groff. Don't you want to become the absolute being? There. That's what I've sought after. Oh, is this the snow continent island place? But wait. That's not what I want. No! This is my very desire. Live. So this is where Faye's being held? He deserves it. Oh God. Let me pray on his weeping face as if it were an idol. <laughs> as if I would. Yeah. What? What is this? Fucking... Why is... Why, why is he back? This is terrible. 
No matter what, this is going way too far. He's still alive? How could you possibly be? You're human too, aren't you? Darn. Faye? Oh, Faye? Crying. Huh? Midori, it's you. <laughs> Don't scare me like that. Crying? Who's crying? You mean our friend F Faye is crying? Angry. Hurt. He'll wake up soon. It's calling him. What do you mean? Oh god. Whoa! What the? Ah, uh, arg. Ga. Stop it. Faye? Dan. Midori. Run. Hurry. Run. Away. Yikes. God. <laughs> Why does he say yikes? He broke through the carbonite encasing. Id. Faye took his gear Veltal and went in search of Zohar. We followed Faye's trail. Eventually we arrived at the location where Zohar had fallen on Earth. So very long ago. Nothing could have prepared us for what we were about to see there. Okay, sure. Member change. I don't know. Yeah, that's about as good a team as we're gonna have. Can I save? I can.